through a lot of razor blades. That's why you do not use your good scissors on foam. It will dull them and ruin them so quick. These are my cheap, crappy scissors. I got glue all over them. They're not long before they're discarded. Well, not cheap, cheap. They are a nice, uh, yeah, that good brand. Fisca. They're, they're Fiskas. I wrap this around my thumb. And. I'll take off just a little bit. So that's going to make a nice. That's a little tight for my thumb now. It's just a little tight. It's good for my finger. So, for my finger tube, <laughs> I have, as expected, four inches by two inches. And it looks like I can get one more right off that thing spot. These will be my finger tubes, and my thumb tube is going to be just a little bit bigger, about four and a half. So the five I know is, is too big, four and a half. So for my finger and thumb, it's a pretty average, a little bit small, so we're good for a female size. <laughs> Not that small, big female. Four and a half for the thumb and five, four for the finger tubes. Put my razor blade up. Get out my barge cement. You could also use hot glue. You could use a spray adhesive for this. I'm going to be using the barge. And on the short ends, I'm going to put on a light bit of glue. Light bit of contact cement. that over. Some cement off of there. You actually don't want this too thick. And one more. So basically put the contact cement on the ends of all three pieces. We'll give a little shot with the hair dryer. A little off camera. You might want to blow and stuff off the table, but just a little blow. Or just wait 10 minutes. Set it down and wait 10 minutes. And I'm going to join these ends. Pinch that together really, really good. Pinch those together. And that will hold. Trust me, if you were to pull on this to tear it, it won't tear on the seam, it'll tear away from the seam. That seam with that contact cement is the strongest part of that whole tube. It's like when you work with wood glue and if there are pieces of wood, the wood glue joints always stronger than the wood. So it doesn't split on the glue joint. <laughs> finger tube, got my thumb tube, other finger tube, and pinch that real good there. And these go onto the mouth plate. Okay, my top and bottom are the same, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> it's symmetrical. Otherwise, we'll make sure which end is the top and bottom. If you had the overbite, you know, I make sure the short end would be the bottom. Thumb tube would go on the bottom. Again, the contact cement, what I like to use with foam. A little bit here on the tube, thumb tube. And a little bit on the bottom where it's going to attach. Top of the plate, we're going to put the finger tubes. 
And I'm glued again actually on the seam on these. So I'm gluing around the seam. Strip about, oh, three quarters of an inch wide. Then with the finger tubes, I'll do one more thing. I'm going to put some glue right here on the on one side, and this and on one side of the other one. And I'm actually going to be gluing the finger tubes to each other. And in fact, we can start with that. The two finger tubes got glue on the side. Do a little shot. I know I'm off. This blows everything around the table, so I go off, off camera. Forgive me for going off camera, but it allows me not to blow everything all over the table. These will now stick together. Go ahead and shoot this. I'm going to take this off. I know, off camera. And my thumb tip. Thumb tip. Thumb tube. Put it around my thumb. These right on my fingers. Now, with finger tubes, what happens is. The middle finger goes on top. This, this allows me to put these right where I want them on the plate. These are, the alignment is perfect now. Get this right where I want them. So I've got the two on the top and they're glued together and glued down. Put the, the thumb tube on the bottom. It's glued down. You notice right there, you notice, if you look at that, hey, that thumb's a little, a little bit off-center, just a little bit off-center. Because that's a natural position for my hand, and anyone's hand, really. So these are nice, those are good on there. I got lots of control. Lots of, lots of control here. I like that. And now, I'm going to do one more thing. I have some old fleece here, just scrap fleece. I'm going to lay this over the top here and here. Now let's use the Elmer's this time. We haven't used the Elmer's. Just because I can. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Now I don't want glue here. I do want it on the tops. <laughs> a little bit on the front, why not? And wrap that around. square edge here, get that about center, you see that, that's about centered, push that down in, wrap that around, you know what, I'm going to cut me a straight edge with this. flush on where my thumb goes into the tube. Wrap that around and wrap it around the front there. And fold this over here. So I glued those parts. Trim off all this extra here. And again, this will be inside the head. So it doesn't have to be perfect.
So obviously it's not perfect here, but it's pretty nice. But what this does, get my thumbs in, my fingers in, back in. Gives a little more strength to the foam. Nice resting spot for my finger up top. It's resting on cloth now, not on foam. Not that it matters. And there's my mouth plate. All ready for the puppet. Maybe from this side you can see it better. I'm not left-handed. There we go. Yeah. Fits right in there. That's a nice permanent plate. Got lots of control with those tubes. I like that's why I like the tubes. I think the tubes give me a lot of control. And they're easy to find with my fingers. Next step, we have our head and our chin patterns. I'm going to pull, stop, make a separate segment for this.